Hello, I'm working on a 2003 GMC Envoy with air suspension. And I've already changed the compressor, but the vehicle sometimes deflates, and I'm looking at the other parts of the system. And here I'm looking at the sensors. There's one on each side, and if you can see here, when the suspension goes down, it pushes this lever up, and vice versa. I have the vehicle supported on blocks. You might want a better means of support than that. And I have the axle supported on jacks. And you have to be careful because the weight of the vehicle on the frame and the weight of the vehicle on the axle are two different things. And the connection between the frame and the axle being dependent on the air spring, you're messing with this differential difference between the both of them and you have to make sure things are supported. There is a thing called D height, which is regular normal operating height, and is measured in the distance between this axle tube and this jounce bracket. Jounce means full compression. This is the jounce jumper here, this rubber bellows arrangement. And the D height is supposed to be this distance here, 5.33 inches. The lower tolerance of that is 5.17 inches and the upper tolerance of that is 5.49 inches. So this sensor here has a hole and this hole is when it is at D height and these screw holes in here have some room to adjust where the sensor sits at D height. So with this block of wood here, what I'm going to do is adjust this and lift this axle up to the height of this wood block and make them the same on both sides. Okay. That's, that's snug. Okay, and then you want to take a drill bit and put it through the hole. That's the wrong drill bit. There's a drill bit that fits this pretty exactly. You want to put it through this hole and make it align with the hole in the sensor so that they're lined up. And then you want to tighten the sensor to the frame of the truck. I did go ahead and measure the resistance on the sensor uh, I came out with about 90 ohms, like 90.4 ohms, and uh, this is supposedly a linear variable differential transformer. I don't know how they do that because it only has two wires connected to it, um, but I cleaned up the electrical terminals and put some grease on there. And if nothing else, by that reading, it tells me whether the whether it's open or shorted, I know that both sides of the vehicle have about the same reading at 90 ohms. Uh, before you work on the suspension, you want to make sure that you undo fuse number one in the underhood fuse box. It's a 30 amp fuse, otherwise you can supposedly mess up the calibration of the suspension system.